So, this is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra in titanium yellow. I went for the yellow colour this year because looking on YouTube, everyone's gone for the grey titanium one. Literally everyone and their nan has the grey one. I almost went for the grey one as well, but the last minute, the voice in my head said, get the yellow one. So I did. Also, I am a tiny channel that's just started this year, so my video in a sea of other grey phones is not going to stand out. So if I've got the bright yellow one, then hopefully that'll stand out a little bit and I'll get a few extra clicks out of curiosity, if nothing else. Crafty. Now before we get into it, a little bit of background. My current phone is a Google Pixel 8 Pro, and before that I had the Google Pixel 7 Pro, an iPhone 12 Pro Max, and a Huawei P30 Pro. The last time I had a Samsung phone for any long period of time was way back when I had the Galaxy S7, which I think was in 2016. So there you go, I've not had a Samsung phone for a long time now, so I'm excited for this one. So first impressions of the colour, looks very nice. It's kind of like a yellowy gold colour. It's a matte finish, so it should hide fingerprints. I think that's a welcome trend we are seeing with smartphones at the moment, as the glossy backs just look a bit grim, don't they? As they get covered in finger gunk. Gold titanium on the sides and around the camera lens. And then this nice yellow finish on the back. Let's have a look around the phone. Nothing on this side, just this brushed titanium finish. Feels nice actually. A couple of antenna bands, power button and volume rocker. Up top we've got some microphones. Around back we have four camera lenses, 200 megapixel wide, 50 megapixel five times telephoto, 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 10 megapixel three times telephoto. So good range of focal lengths there to play with. Samsung sent me a free case as well as part of the pre-order deal. Here we are, the vegan leather case. Does feel nice in the hand. A lot like leather would feel, but perhaps a tad softer. Feels nice though. Let's have a look around. Cutouts for the charger, speaker grill, and S Pen slot. Nothing on this side. Let's look at the other side. Buttons for the power and volume, up and down. Some precise cutouts there for the cameras. I'm glad they've done that rather than being lazy, just cutting out one massive hole for all of them. So here is the case next to the phone, nice contrasting colour colour with the black and the yellow. Yeah, uh, you know what it is. Let's slap on this case then, see how it fits. Let's try and put it button side in first. That's usually the way to go. Quite a snug fit, but the side rails are visible still. Not sure if that's a good thing or not. Top and bottom edges are raised, so that it lifts the screen away from any surface you might decide to plonk your phone down on. Nice precise fit around the cameras, also the case comes out further to protect the lenses. Right, that's pretty much done for the unboxing. Uh, before you go, over the next few weeks I'm going to be thoroughly testing this phone, using it every day as my main phone. I've got lots of videos planned, camera comparisons, software tips and tricks, how-to videos, etc. So if that's something you're interested in, then please do like and subscribe. This is a brand new tech channel for 2024 and I'm really enjoying making these videos for you all. So please do come and join me on my YouTube journey. Until next time, cheers.